Hello, my name's Adrian Magson and I write the beginner's page in Writing Magazine every month. I'm also a novelist. Now I'll have to ask you to forgive the lockdown haircut, um, the lack of props, music, walk-on parts, all the razzmatazz of filming. We're on a tight budget. Actually, there's mm -hmm. no budget at all. I'm just cheap. Anyway, to work. The hardest part of writing, as you've already probably found out, is getting started. But nobody expects you to actually knock off a book or an article or whatever in one sitting. It's very rarely that easy. Instead, most of the time, you'll sit there staring at the screen or the paper and basically feeling as if you're growing hair on your teeth. But write something. Anything will help. It gets the writing muscles going. It gets you in the mood. Knowing what you want to write is a big help. Whatever it means, if you have a feel for something, books, poetry, articles, plays, whatever, you can focus on one genre instead of scattergun approach, which is what I did. I always knew I wanted to write crime thrillers and spy thrillers from a very young age, but I tried all sorts of things first. Uh, so I wrote short fiction for women's magazines, articles, um, short fiction for radio, comedy gags for radio. Um, I put slogans and greetings cards, t-shirts, doormats. Um, pretty much I tried everything where I thought I could earn some money and get something published. And it worked reasonably well. I have to admit not everything did that well. Uh, I was actually rubbish at poetry. But I thought I'd try a poet a poem into a woman's magazine where they published one poem every week. Um, so I sent it in and to my surprise they sent me a five pound cheque which was probably more than it was worth but um, they said they'd publish it which they did. The downside was at the end of the letter they said please don't feel pressured to send us any more which is probably the nicest rejection or pre-rejection letter I've ever had. Whatever you decide it helps if you write what you read. By that I mean you'll have a feel for that particular market. You'll know what the structure is, you'll know what the format is, and you'll be familiar with the kind of stories that are popular, especially if you read a lot. Uh, you'll know the market and how the market can sometimes change, but you'll keep up with that. Trying to write something you're not familiar with is just very hard work. Writing against the grain in any kind of writing um, is tough. And writing's supposed to be fun. It's hard work, but it is still fun. So why make it harder for yourself? If you've already decided on the genre that you want to write, remember you have to stand on your own voice, your own words. There's a temptation to try and write in the voice of somebody already famous uh, and, and published. And that really doesn't work all that well. At best, you might come, up, come off as um, sounding reasonably like them. At very worst, which is most common, you'll sound like a very poor copy. Uh, that doesn't work and it doesn't help getting readers. And it certainly won't help with your confidence. Another point, you don't have to start at the beginning. Wherever you are at the moment with your writing, you don't have to go A to Z. Write what you think. What, what, write what ideas you have in your head. Um, put them down on paper because while they're swilling around in your head, they're really not going anywhere. Put your ideas, no matter how brief they are, uh, how outlandish they might seem, get them down on paper. And once you've started writing, you'll find that that generates activity. You'll find you want to write more around that scene that you've created. You'll also get spin-offs. And that's how stories grow. It's organic. You just have to help it along a little bit. The first few words that you write are essentially the first footprint on a journey. And every story and every book is a journey. And your book or your article or your story is your journey towards doing what you've always wanted to do. And sitting there and not doing it is not helping. You need to actually get going.
So, take whatever scintilla of an idea you've got, no matter how small, and let it grow. Because it is organic, but you've got to let it grow. And that's how books get written. Experiment. Play with scenes, play with ideas, add in characters, add in dialogue, add in a bit of scenery, a bit of description. Not too much. You don't want to go heavy on description. You want to keep it moving. All stories have to move along. Otherwise, they get a little bit tiresome. I've had a lot of books published, many short stories and articles, but I didn't know at the beginning if I was capable of writing anything useful or even interesting. But I had to try. Um, all I did know was that I wanted to write, and that's what I've been doing ever since. And incidentally, it goes the same for writing non-fiction. Don't think this is just about fiction. It's not. Non-fiction is as much telling a story as fiction. You're doing it in a slightly different way. You're doing about real stuff, real people, real events. Whereas with fiction, it's made up. You know, it all comes from inside. If you have the same desire to, sell, to tell stories, then don't wait. Get writing. Don't let time slip by. And you may have, if you're in a normal lockdown situation at the moment, you've probably got a lot of time on your hands. Don't waste it. The main thing is, though, have some fun along the way. And good luck with your writing. Thank you.